All right, hey guys, we are out here at Sunshine Apartments, formerly Red Cedar Lodge. This was a 67 unit motel that we bought and got our new Sunshine Apartments sign installed, which is awesome. If you short, you don't need your house, we may get it tomorrow. All right, hey guys, we are out here at Sunshine Apartments, formerly Red Cedar Lodge. This was a 67 unit motel that we bought that we're converting into a 44 unit apartment building. So we're taking it from short term, you know, overnight or weekly stay to long term. And we've done a lot of work. We've only owned this building for maybe seven or eight weeks. I think we're approaching the two month mark. Since we've owned it, we have done a lot of stuff to this building. So first and foremost, we've painted all of the gray. And this was all red at one time, hence the name Red Cedar Lodge. And it looked really bad. It was like actually like faded red and it actually looked pink. So we wanted to get rid of all that because it just looked old and dated and it just didn't look good. So we painted everything gray. We've also redone our sign out here. We got rid of the old, ugly Red Cedar Lodge sign and got our new Sunshine Apartments sign installed, which is awesome. I have also decided to cut the parking lot in half. Reason being is, is we don't need that many parking spaces because we're no longer a motel and we no longer have 67 units and we have adequate parking without this big lot. So I cut this in half and really I did it for two reasons. Number one, redoing this entire parking lot is gonna cost a fortune. So by cutting it in half on this back side here, or this is I guess really the front side, um, it's gonna reduce the cost of redoing, sealing, patching, all the above when it comes to the parking. But additionally, now this is a leasable or rentable space. So the goal is to lease it out to maybe one of the neighbors, like the RV dealer next door, or anybody and everybody that wants to use this, this highway frontage to you know, put something that they may wanna be selling or whatnot. Option two is, is that I can always come in later and I can actually build some small storage units right there as well. So we're basically trying to capitalize and increase the amount of income from this property. Additionally, which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see from right here, but we put a new metal roof on the building. So we got a new metal roof on the building, which is awesome. Let's actually walk through the office and I can show you some other additional things. You can see we've already got some of the patchwork done on the parking lot which is awesome. This is a really cool project. We are in the process right now of gutting all of the units and running 220 lines. And here is just kind of a example of some of the kitchens that we're gonna be putting in. So none of the units have kitchens currently. So we're basically gonna be taking the side-by-side -side unit and we're gonna have a door. I mean, there's a door right there to kind of showcase what that's gonna look like. And we're gonna keep the bathroom on one half of the unit, right? And the other one, we're gonna rip that bathroom out and put a kitchen in. So you have kitchen, family room, bedroom, bathroom, and then your closet's gonna be on the other side of it. So the majority of these units are gonna be one bedroom, one bath suites. There will be a few studios, not a ton, I think maybe like five or six total. And then randomly, and oddly enough, this building already had some two bedroom motels, uh, motel rooms already here. So there's actually eight two bedrooms that are already here and they already had kitchens randomly. So I guess those were probably like extended stay rooms. So we're gonna obviously gut those out and put new kitchens in and, and everything else. So we're gonna have eight two bedrooms, about five or six studios, and then the remainder, roughly about 30 one bed, one bath units. Now you may be thinking, why the name Sunshine Apartments? Well, the reason is, is because this motel is not individually metered. Why would it be, right? So when we convert it into apartments, we're gonna have one electric bill and one water bill. So in, in an effort to reduce the cost of these utilities, we're actually gonna be putting solar panels on the roof of this building, which is super cool. It's gonna reduce the cost of that electric, but additionally, it's going to allow us to provide utilities 
included in all the units. There's really no way around that actually. So we have to do that. So the solar panels are gonna be really, really cool and really, really helpful. Okay, so this is the office. We're kind of converting this into a unit. This area here will be our leasing and just kind of break room for the crew and anybody that is on site. Here is the back of the building. It's actually three buildings here. You have this main building, which we were just standing out in front of. You got building number two, and then you got a garage, which has a well in it on the right side. There's a laundry facility in the middle right there. And then there's a, two garages here on the left, which is gonna be great for us to use, and we've already are using it, to store our materials and our flooring and cabinets and stuff like that. Uh, while we're gutting all of the units out, which is really, really cool. Now, another thing I had mentioned, right, in the, in, on the front side, we had cut that out and separated the lot into two different things so we can create more income, but also reduce the cost of maintaining and fixing, patching, sealing, all the above when it comes to the blacktop. But we decided that in the front, or I guess this is really the back, in the back of the building, we we're gonna do something very similar in an effort to reduce the cost of the maintenance, right? Every couple years, we're gonna have to come out here and seal and stripe this parking lot in an effort to do less of it and add an amenity to this property. We cut out a big, big, you know, I don't know what, what shape that would be, but a big area right here. And we're actually gonna, in the spring, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put grass in throw a couple picnic tables or a park bench or two, and essentially have a little green space slash dog park for our residents. So again, two birds, one stone. Reduce the amount of square footage that we have to maintain on the parking, but also add another amenity to this property. Now, on this back side, you can see left is the old roof, right is the new roof. We've already replaced the entire roof on the main big building. On this back building, we're halfway done with the roof. We got half to go. We also got a new sign over here on this building here, which is similar to the one that's on the big pole out front, which looks really, really good. Hence the name Sunshine Apartments because we're gonna have solar panels. Uh, we've already had some asphalt work being done right here on the entrance that was really, really bad, all potholes and just really, really bad. Um, so we've done a lot of the patching so far. Uh, and in the spring, we can't do it now because it's too cold, but in the spring, we'll come back and we'll seal this entire parking, both the back and the front, and then we'll stripe it so we have lanes or, or lines for parking. Um, all in all, this is gonna be you know about a 12 month project and we're about two months in, I think we're seven or eight weeks into it at this point. Um, whenever we bought this building, there was, I think 16, individuals living in the building. Um, and right now, I think we've, we've gotten rid of three of them. So don't quote me on this, but I think there's 13 people that are still living here, which is really great because, you know, we weren't necessarily wanting to kick people out unless they needed to go. If they were causing problems or being a nuisance, then they had to go, of course. But the existing 13 people are here, which is really great because, you know, once we rehab around them, we'll offer them the ability to move into you know, newer units with new floors and new kitchens and, you know, new bathrooms and new HVACs and even, they're even going to have full appliances. They're going to have refrigerators and stove ranges and microwaves and all the above. So it's going to be a really, really great project. But the fact that there was, you know, people living here already was actually really good. It was a bonus to us because it helps cover the note and the mortgage on the loan in the meantime. So, all in all, we are really, really happy with this project. This is just a quick little update. Again, we're about two months in and we've completed a ton. We've done parking. We've done about 90% of the roof. We've changed out the signs. Uh, we've gutted almost every single unit outside of the occupied ones. And then right now we're in the process of running 220 lines for the ranges um, and doing some electrical and some plumbing work. And then once we finish up the electrical and the plumbing work, we will go in and we'll start making this place look awesome. And then in the spring, we'll finish the parking lot and anything else that you know is still existing. So thanks for watching, guys. This is just a quick update on Sunshine Apartments at two months. Without coming up there to see it. 314-293-3000. Just give us a call. If you sure you don't need your house.